Hello all. Welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to cover about Apex classes in Salesforce. So now we have successfully moved to development that is customization in Salesforce. We have two types of customization. One is declarative customization. One more is programmatic customization. So whatever we have done by using point and click or by using out of box tools in Salesforce, those we used to call as a declarative customization. Now we have moved to programmatic customization. So while doing the customization, we have to write something called Apex class. So this Apex class is similar to Java. So whatever the Java concepts you are using, you will be using the same thing over here. But there is a little variation in syntax. So Apex class, uh, it's purely following the object oriented concepts. Uh, we can see the object oriented concepts in later on. So if you know the object oriented concepts already, that would be well and good. So why we are using Apex class? Because we can solve the uh, complex validations. We can solve the business logics. We can solve the, we can handle the transactional flows. We can write a custom business logics and we can do web service callouts with third parties. We can do much and more things by using the Salesforce Apex classes. And let's see a small demo, how we can open an Apex class and how we can start to write the code. So here you can see the setup. So in setup, you just need to select developer console and the developer console will be open here. So this would be your initial page. Now, if you wanted to test any code without writing any classes, so consider that I just wanted to test a piece of code, whether it is working properly or not. So here you have a place where you can write that code. So the place name is execute anonymous window. So by using the anonymous window, you can just test a piece of code and you can execute and you can check it out. So I'm opening this. So this is the place if you wanted to check, you can check it out. Uh, for example, we are using uh, in C, we are using printf in C out. Uh, I mean, in C++, we are using C out. In Java, we are using system.out.println. In .NET, we are using like console dot right right line so like that in salesforce we have something called system dot debug so which will help you to print the lines or which will help you to print the messages so like this you can run and execute so here i am selecting the open log file so by opening this file, we can see how the execution happens from the beginning to end. So I'll, I'm selecting just execute. So it is successfully executed. And here the debug only you can click just to see the debug messages, whatever we wanted to see the print. If you wanted to see that one, you need to see the debug. You need to click the debug. Here you can see whatever we have written, it would be printed. So here you can see, so it, it is starting with the user who has executed, who has started, initiated this execution. So from there, here you can see this code execution will start and code unit will start. So within the code unit, it will do some heap allocations and it will count some limits and later it will get finished. So this is a cycle how the debug is exactly working. So while writing debug, you have few other options. Suppose consider that I have one more line. I am just giving first line and I'm just giving some second lines. So now if you just execute, you can see both the lines over there. Now, I wanted to execute a specific line. So you, what you can do is you can just go ahead and select and then click execute highlighted. 
so it will just execute only the highlighted message so now if i am not enabling this open log what will happen is this execution log will not open so on that time what i need to do is once you click the execution so here whichever the time you have executed on that specific time there is one log got generated so you need to double click that log and you need to select this debug only and you can see the message so in case if you are not selected this box this is the this is how you need to open it so let's see one other session on more in apex classes in salesforce thank you